and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be taking you along as I visit some stationery shops in my area, and at the end, I'll show you what I ended up buying. First up, I visited Tools to Live By, a local shop that I pass all the time on my walks. The interior makes me think of an old letterpress studio, which is fitting because they sell a lot of retro and vintage inspired items. Most of the products they carry are imported from Europe or Japan, but they also have their own line of products designed in-house. I would say their prices are on the high side, but their products are all beautifully packaged and presented, making them great for gifts. I ended up purchasing a stationery kit for a friend, as well as some paper clips, which I'll show you a bit later. Before Christmas, my mom and I also visited the Esleet Songyun store to get some last minute gifts. Esleet is a high end bookstore chain in Taiwan that also sells some designer home goods and lifestyle products. I really like this particular location, which has a small and intimate feeling. The second floor is dedicated to arts and crafts and hosts a lot of small shops and vendors. There's a lot of cute stuff you don't really know what you would do with, but you kind of want to buy anyway. This shop called Jeantopia sells some of the most elaborate stickers and paper crafts that I think I've seen in my lifetime. The third floor has a large selection of notebooks, planners, and calendars from all around the world. This Winnie the Pooh calendar is designed like a comic strip, which I thought was really cool. I ended up getting a few small stationary items. I also briefly visited the Esli Xinyi store. This is the flagship store, which boasts a 24-hour bookstore as well as two stationary departments. This is the writing boutique, which honestly feels more like a museum than a store. <laughs> they carry high-end fountain pens, inks, and stationery items from international brands like Caran d'Ache and Caveco. Our next stop is a store called Wenju Wang, or Stationery King. This is part of a chain that is known for its low prices and large selection. I have to say, this place really lives up to its name. They carry not only stationery supplies, but also general art and craft supplies, and even some home goods. This is one of those great one-stop shops. Whether you're looking for activity books for kids, or office supplies, they pretty much have it all, and at very affordable prices. Last but not least, we have Vision Stationery. This is a super cozy little neighborhood shop that carries a lot of hand-picked products from Japan, including stickers by Midori, washi tape, and artisan stamps.
reviews, I learned that the owner is quite an expert on writing tools and can give good recommendations on fountain pens, inks, and notebooks. They carry a good range of pens, especially of the Taiwanese brand TWSBI. So here's some of the stuff I bought. I honestly didn't get all that much. Most of what I did buy, I justified as things I could give as gifts. From tools to live by, I got this stationary gift set that comes with two pencils, a storage bag, and a pair of scissors. I chose the set mainly for the little scissors that I think have really cute proportions. I also got a little package of their signature paper clips. I have a real weakness for cool looking paper clips. These come in a really beautiful package and the clips themselves look well made. They're like tiny works of art. As a gift with purchase to celebrate the store's 10th anniversary, I also got this free keychain measuring tape. Next up, we have some items from Stationery King. I got a couple sticker sheets to give to my friend's kids. I also got a coloring book featuring desserts, who doesn't love that? I managed to restrain myself and only buy a single roll of washi tape. This is a pretty small roll, but I do like that it's printed with lots of different designs. Plus, I love peanuts. Finally, I have a few items from Esleet. I got a little memo pad with four different designs in it. I thought I could use this to write thank you notes for when I ship out orders. I honestly don't know what these stickers are to be used for. I think maybe for scrapbooking or kids crafts. I was thinking maybe I could make a note card with them or use them to decorate a child's birthday present. The little fold-out accordion is just such a fun detail. The last item I have here is this stationary set featuring characters from the Moomin Troll stories. This was actually for my mother because she was looking for a pouch this size to hold bank documents, and she likes cute things too. Hope you enjoyed this stationary tour and haul. Let me know in the comments if you're a stationary addict like me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!